Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. And thanks for being amazing. First things first, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell. That actually helps me. If you want my voice to get louder so we can call these D-bags out a little bit more, that's how you do it. I would really, really appreciate it. And we're almost at 200,000, which my promise to you was I'm gonna go on the same cruise that Jess Fan was and do this. I have to do it. My wife's like, won't you get in trouble? I'm like, uh, it's 2023. If I walked up to the top of that thing with a yellow bikini, no one's gonna say anything, okay? That's where we are as a society right now. They're probably gonna yask queen and slay. That's why I'm getting like, slay. I'm like, thanks. But I'm actually doing this to make fun of somebody. <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen at 200,000. I'm gonna go on that cruise, I promise. And so that's and that's how you help me get there. You can also buy a shirt, you can sponsor me, you can join the channel, or you can join the Patreon, or you head over to Ko-Fi and buy me a coffee if you like what I do here. If I make you laugh, if I bring light to your day, that's how you can support me. Or just watch and share, that's also how you can support me, so I appreciate you. Anyway, let's get to Dockerty Dozen. <laughs> So she's got a morning routine video and I've been taught and she's been talking about this pop tart pie for a little while and we love snarking on her cooking because it's absolutely disgusting, gross and always cold. But we're going to talk about this a little bit and we're going to talk about another little something, another little sponsorship that popped up that we got to talk about. So let's watch this together, shall we? And snark. But first, ice cap. It's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen, and this is my morning routine where I prep breakfast and lunch for my 12 kids. Stir your coffee up there. Stir your shit. But first, <laughs> coffee. All right. We are making. What the hell? Cast iron. That's from Mordor, that thing. That came straight out of the Hobbit village. Pop chop, pop, pop, pop. Tart pie. Pop tart pie. I saw this recipe on Instagram from Turtle Creek. Tur Turtle Creek. Oh, Turtle Creek, the Christmas lady? Turtle Creek foodie. I'll tag him in the description. Wait. Isn't Turtle Creek that Christmas lady that's crazy? Spends like $10 million decorating her house for Christmas for like four months. Her husband's like, I hate it here. And I thought it was brilliant. I'm sure you would. You know why you thought it was brilliant? It's because it's full of effing just piles of sugar. That's why you thought it was brilliant. Why don't you be like, we're going to eat healthy but delicious. I'm going to teach my kids that you can eat delicious food that's also healthy for you. Not Pop-Tart pie, asshole! All right, I'm not sure how many pie crusts I'm going to need. One. You need one pie. They can have a tiny sliver. They all don't need to have three pounds of Pop-Tart pie. This is her problem too, right? So she makes an overabundance of everything for every single child. Some of her kids, she made like three pound steaks. That kid doesn't even weigh three pounds. Where is he going to put the steak? Right? She makes the same amount for every single person in her family. From Alex, who's like six foot three and 250 pounds, to like the child that weighs six pounds. Here's the same amount for you, little one. Food comas all around. Am I... No, I think I'll be good with six. Six pie crusts! Okay, we'll see. I got more out in the garage if I need. I'm sure you do. Yeah. You can't yeah. even open that? Do you even lift, bro? There's a scissors full of bacon grease and other things grease and probably cuts dog hair with it. Just open it! Okay, today is Tuesday. Which means t Diabetes Tuesday. We what do we have today? I don't even know. You have diabetes, that's what you have today. Track meat. We have a track meet. Patrick has a track meet. And horseback riding. I don't care. Let's get to this. She's too slow. I'll have to dink it. Dink it to make it work here. Okay. Don't forget to touch everything with your disgusting hands. 
That's the secret ingredient. Luscious thumb juice. Here's our bottom. Oops. Why don't you just get a pop tart and have a pop tart? Go. Dang it. My ring just got a hole in that. Okay, it'll be. Your brain just got a hole in it? Okay. Your ring. She could have taken off because your ring's full of shit, too. All right. You're wearing those jeans again! At this point, the jeans are giving off emissions, right? Which goes into the food as well. Those, how do those jeans even survive? Like, how are they still together? How have they not turned to dust already? I used jelly. I, I'm going to use pie jelly. I think either one is perfectly acceptable. Well, it's because you don't follow recipes. So, I get it. You should probably use jelly, though, if the recipe calls for it. Pie filling is 10 times sweeter, 10 times more sugar than jelly, I think. I don't know. And she's probably going to way overdo it. Again, I'm not sure, like, what measurements I needed, so I bought extra. Exactly. <laughs> I don't do measurements. I just put a whole shit ton of diabetes in a bowl. Just eat it. There's no way these kids can sleep or have good moods at all, ever. Because I can always put the extra in the pantry. Oh my god. Sure, if I need one That's or two, all you I need. need. No, you do not need to. No, you don't. Just spread it thinner. Josh, no, you me. don't. Last night. That's it. That's all you need, oh, lady. Actually, maybe one. I don't know. Wait, one or two. One. Half that. Like one is like. That's just plenty. Enough. Yes. You know what? I'm gonna use one and a half. No. That's too much already. Just remembered, I need this for tomorrow too, so I can use the other half tomorrow. Leftover diabetes pie, everybody, come get it. Even the chickens are like, I ain't in this shit, lady. You trying to kill me? Frig, those chickens are conspiring to get away. We're having um. Okay, there's a German word for it, but the... Duschenbagen. English, American word is ice cream noodles. Did you just see that? We're having ice cream noodles for dinner, for dessert tomorrow for around the world night, Germany. So I need this for the ice cream noodles. So it's a go. And you're making it for breakfast. You're feeding your children literal absolute shitty garbage for breakfast it's all good it's all good it's not it's all better good better what you're doing there is actually poison i think this would have been better with jelly and we talk about this a lot everybody eats snacks everybody eats bad to a degree right everybody does but alicia does it here's the thing with alicia it's every single day that's the problem it's if you're doing it on the weekend whatever if you're getting donuts every once in a while i get that everybody does that everybody does it's it, canon canadians americans are all the same but the problem with Alicia is this is every single day for her children. Everything that she feeds them is bad. Everything. I've yet to ever see her f literally create a meal that wasn't shit. Not one yet. Not one. And that's a problem. And this is why this is a problem. Okay? Because she does this. It's always a challenge to keep up with a healthy eating routine with so many picky kiddos. And it's always a challenge to keep up with a healthy eating routine. That's what she just said. While in the next video, she makes Pop-Tart pie! Pop-Tart pie. You mean it's always a challenge because you don't feed them anything healthy at all, and so now they are conditioned to only like sugar and refined foods, chips, candy, fast food, pizza. That's all they eat. The challenge is because you did this. You created these people. You did this house that's why i'm partnering look notice oh my god no she had freaking green she had vegetables <laughs> and jelly beans and jelly okay so she has oh those are gummy vitamins okay so here's your beef here's your brussels sprouts and here's some vitamins eat a handful because you don't get any nutrients from the food i cooked for you partnering with flintstones vitamins to make mealtime more fun pretend to laugh look I, i'm not i know i'm mumbling this but harley is like not having this she's like Wah. she's She's literally forcing her kids to be in an advertisement. Again, if everybody wants to know what exploitation looks like, this is the epitome of exploitation, okay? This is the core of it all. Forcing your kids to be in paid advertisements, wearing the Be Kind shirts and everything else, forcing them to fake laugh while you pan over Flintstone vitamins, this is exploitation. Flintstones 
pays her extra to put her kids in the video. And so now Flintstone vitamins will never, ever be consumed in this household ever. Well, ensuring they get the nutrients they need. So have you ever seen her make anything like this? Let's play a fun game. Ice cream is the obvious choice in this household, but did you obviously you know both ice cream and red peppers provide vitamin A, which supports eye health and immune health? Although it might What? Is that actually justifies feeder kid shit? Look, all the ice cream I has vitamin A in it. Dairy has calcium in it, so yeah, ice cream it is. Are you shitting me right now? Not be their favorite. Brussels sprouts are a great source of vitamin C, which supports your child's immune health. I did you see that? Now I'm showing you that because these kids have never eaten a Brussels sprout in their entire life. This is almost like a, a food dare challenge. And James is like, these kids don't eat. Just <laughs> Flintstone vitamins saw this ad and they're like, yep. Now, Flintstones might be saying that because she feeds her kids bullshit, you've got to offset that with some vitamins that they're missing in the food that she makes, which would make sense. If if she was honest in this ad, and maybe I'll do my own version of it in a second. The, <laughs> maybe I will. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my own version, okay? I'm not surprised. Both clams and ground beef are good sources of vitamin B12, which supports your child's physical energy. These kids aren't eating clams. You also struggle to get your picky kids to eat a balanced diet. Well, I'm always testing out... You mean struggle? Then feed them a balanced diet! Of course, you're making them Pop-Tart pie and sheet cakes for breakfast and McDonald's 24 hours a day. You mean, str why, stop saying the word struggle. You don't struggle, it's all you feed them. There's no healthy options. What an asshole. Different recipes, we add Flintstones Complete Chewables multivitamin to our kids' daily routine to help fill nutrient gaps. I remember taking Flintstones vitamins when I was a kid, and I love that now they're helping my kids get the essential nutrients and vitamins they may need as they grow. Flintstones! You F off. Vitamin. Flintstones partners with her, and then this is what happens to Flintstones vitamin page on Facebook. In their most recent post, there's 42 comments. Read these comments. Here's one from me. What in the fresh hell were you thinking teaming up with Talking Dog and all she feeds her kids is trash all day, every day. Pick better ambassadors. Sees Flintstones is partnered with Dockerty's, Google's, kids vitamins other than Flintstones. Boom. If you want to know, type in alternative to Flintstone vitamins. How sad it is to learn they're a paying Dockerty Dozen sponsorship. They must be desperate and ungoing under. This family has no idea what nutrition is exactly. Is this the face of Flintstones vitamins? I'm dumping mine, not even donating. Don't donate vitamins. Don't do that. Just throw them out. Even if you don't like them, don't give used vitamins to people, okay? You need to do better research before partnering with people. The doctor does and mom is an alcoholic, feeds her kids sugar and junk day in and day out. It's obvious she doesn't care about the kids. Look, they're getting ratioed here by everybody in the comments. And so the honest ad would be more like, do you only feed your kids absolute and utter bullshit all day long? Pop-tart pie, sheet cakes with sugar, McDonald's 24 seven and ice cream all day and then chips and cereal? Well, do I have the thing for you? Because my kids don't eat anything I ever cook, especially in the morning, because when they wake up two hours later after I cooked it, it's cold as ice. So they don't eat it. What they do is they go to the pantry and pour bowls of sugary cereal. Also, there's no way they would ever eat a Brussels sprout ever because I don't even know how to make this shit. I don't know how to cook and so I feed my children absolute poison all the time. And so because this is an honest ad and we're being real and raw, you gotta give them vitamins because they're not getting nutrients from the food that we cook them. Because either I cook the shit out of the nutrients that were already in there, or I feed them just pure refined processed sugar. So if you want to get your vitamins, you should, because my kids need them. Otherwise, they die from the diet that I feed them. Check out Flintstones Vitamins today, those assholes. That was perfect timing, yes! Dumbass. Flintstones Vitamins, you can kiss my ass. Why do these people never do any research with the ambassadors that they're using? Plus, anybody who uses family vloggers to advertise their shit, and I get they all do it, they should all be boycotted anyway. Because you should never use exploited children to advertise your products. All right? All right, cool. Let's move on. Good work. So I'm ready. All right, so I gotta make sure I got no like whole ones by the edge here because I gotta crimp the edge. Crimp your edge. That was gross. I got this giant cast iron pan on Amazon. Oh gosh, I forget how many inches it is. Does it say? 24. 
No, it doesn't even say. It's a 24 inch pan. It's huge. Okay. 18 inch, maybe? 18 inch? 20 inch? It's not 24. 18 inches. It's huge. That's its official size. Okay, now we're going to put pie crust on the top. So basically, you're making a pie. That's all you're doing here. Okay. Let's get to it. Recycle that shit. Well. Holy shit! Stop smashing shit! Right. Fork the edges. Fork your edges. Oh. Yeah. Don't come out. Okay, I can use too much jelly. It's not jelly, it's pie filling. Living butthole. Hard, right? So it's all coming out. <laughs> you suck ass. I actually don't normally record myself the first time I make a new recipe because I'm like, don't know what I'm doing. Well, even the recipes you do record that you know you're doing, you don't know what you're doing, so. Nothing you have ever cooked, ever. None of it looks good, anything. The one thing that Josh did was the ribs with all the sugar on it. That looked good. I'll give them that. Otherwise, everything you cook, even if you've done it a bunch of times, looks like shit. And I hope you actually do give your kids vitamins, which I don't think they do, obviously, okay? They do need vitamins. Those kids don't get any nutrients whatsoever. They're either drinking Gatorade, juice, maybe water, hopefully water, Sunny D, Velveeta cheese, cookies, chips, Yogurts with sugar in them, M&M's, everything, all they do is eat candy. All their entire diet is sugar, 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 sugar. And maybe one of them will eat a carrot stick, maybe, if you leave it out. Maybe one. Okay? But they don't get any nutrients. So maybe she should have just made an honest ad. Look, guys, I know I feed my kids absolute bullshit all the time. And so I did need to give them a supplement of some kind so that they will survive and not get gangrene. That would have been a good ad. I'd have been like, at least you're honest. But you know what? What? It's okay to try new recipes and not know what you're doing. No, it's not. And not do it perfect the first time or the second time. Or don't just, don't make this type of shit. How about that? How about try a new recipe that's healthy? I'd be good. Then we'd be like, at least you're trying. Not like, I'm making this new recipe that's super easy, by the way. It's just pie crust and sugar. And you still mess it up. Third time. Ew. This isn't, and it's not the first time she's ever made this, by the way. She She's talked about this before, I think. Wow, you you suck okay. so much ass. Okay, good. You did not crimp. Now we're going to do an egg wash over the top of that. I don't know how many eggs I need. One, just start with one. And if you need another one, you can do that. Can you imagine just trying to sleep through this shit? I should do a parody video of like just her kids trying to sleep and then all you hear is just all this shit. Mom's making breakfast at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, almost forgot. I put holes in the top. Just such a. You're just a. You're just a taint. I love the word taint. Now, he cooked his for 12 minutes. Um, so it might take a little longer because it's bigger. So we'll see. You no. Start with 12. It shouldn't. I think it's going longer. Did you even beat that egg? Brown and serve so that you can brown and serve your toilet later. Bang. She doesn't even, like, she crowds everything! Ew. That first cream with a little bit of coffee in it. And Bailey's. She just farted. Oh, that was the floor. Sausage cooking. This sandwich. Let's make our shitty sandwiches. Babe. She's been making these sandwiches for five years and nobody wants a different sandwich yet. This, again, they just buy their sandwich at school or they buy something at the cafeteria. These kids throw these sandwiches right to the chickens on the way to the bus. Here you go, chickens. That's why their chickens weigh 300 pounds a piece. These chickens are going to be on 600, my 600 pound life soon. Jeez. 
she puts James an entire can of tuna with like five tablespoons of mayonnaise. James needs to get his mercury levels checked. Tuna every day is not safe. Okay, once in a blue moon, tuna is delicious. It's got great protein in it, everything else. Okay, James eats way too much tuna if he indeed eats the sandwich. So just chill on the mercury. <laughs> And put all this shred us. Here's your happy face, mate. Here's your happy face mustard that you're not gonna see. Are they pulling the sandwich apart? Be like, look, a happy face that's squished. Okay, never. Ew, you put processed cheese on mustard? Ooh. Six pounds of ham. Alex. Yeah, Alex. The F. Holy shit, did someone get a freaking peanut butter and chocolate sandwich? Oh, on Mother's Day, I did an interview with a Melbourne morning show. I'll have to post the link to that. Were they making fun of you for making bullshit? Short and sweet. Short and sweet little interview. Okay. I'm sure it was sweet. Short and dumb, more like it. What am I hearing? I forgot to put that in my Mother's Day recap. What am I hearing? All right, let's cut them all up. Did I get everything? I don't think I did. Oh my gosh, I messed up yesterday. Is one just mustard and cheese? Hello, Monday. And I gave, like, the wrong... I put, like, some of Nevaeh's stuff in James's lunchbox and some of James's stuff... So I dropped McDonald's off in Stan. ...in Nevaeh's lunchbox. Anyways, I fixed that Anyways. before they left for school. I don't know. Clean your knife off, <laughs> butt crack. I thought... Somebody said she was cleaning off her knife now. She's not. There's mayonnaise all over it and she's cutting it. Oh, there we go. Are they all the same, maybe? No, because one of those was just ketchup. What a, cr what a crunchy taint. Suck it. All right, I gotta fast forward this part. Let's get to the Pop-Tart pie. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a bunch of candy and shit. So my grocery vlog took forever to load yesterday. That happens every so often. YouTube's like, let's make a vlog take five hours to load. I know the trick to this, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because I've seen it happen to myself and friends. And we learn the secret. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want you to know. Kiss my ass. So... I'll post that today. So now I'm a day behind. Who gives a shit, lady? No one cares. Post day in life tomorrow. I get more views on my Dr. He Doesn't videos than she gets in her videos. And I have a tenth of her subscribers. But, yeah. Holy right. shit, you're loud. Yeah. Here's our fasting. So let me get this straight. Let me read you today's quote. Here's a quote. You miss 100% of the nutrients you don't give your kids. If at first you don't succeed, exploit your children. Ted Challenge Podcast. I don't even know what it's called. Today is the day inspirational quote. Yeah. It's giving like, you know, these people who like, they, they put up like live, love, laugh signs over their house. Or they like think, you know, that freaking... Virgo meets the sun and Jupiter and Sagittarius are all hate each other because of wars from the past space. Those people, what is that called? Starography? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Freaking. You know those people though? You know what I'm talking about? You know those people. Everybody has those people in their lives. Where they think like, I'm going to manifest this shit tomorrow. And then they fall down a well. <laughs> little by little becomes a lot. Of diabetes. 
Little by little, I feed my kids these types of foods, and then it turns into a lot of diabetes and death later on in life. So, success. Like, she must know that we all talk about this. Like, she gets so many hundreds of comments on the shit that she feeds her kids and yet does not make a change. She'll make certain changes when we call her out for certain things, not washing her hands, or maybe she does her knife a little bit differently or whatever. She does, she does make little changes. But the changes she will never make is the shit that she feeds her children and how bad it actually is for her children. As a parent, we all know our kids eat junk all the time. That's all it is. Not all the time, everybody's. But kids eat junk. We eat junk when we grow up. Everybody to a degree has junk. And we can all say that, you know, I'm pretty sure most parents can say we do that. Okay? But I think also most people could look at this and say there's just, that is way above it, beyond it, anything you've ever seen. Because it's so bad. And so she will not make the change that will make her kids healthier and live a longer life. That's the one thing she won't change. Let's get this damn Pop-Tart pie out of the oven. I thought she was only putting it in for 12 minutes. Holy shit, she's just putting shit in the, Just cut it! I had a package of like 500 straws fall in my pantry room last night that I need to clean up. I just really don't feel like it. Get someone else to do it. Get your kids to do it. They can do some shit. But I need to. I'll do that today. So you got straws fell on the floor, you're gonna put them back in the pack and your kids are gonna now eat floor, eat, your know, kids are not gonna drink out of floor straws. That's great. <laughs> Shut up. Holy shit, this is awkward. You not find this awkward, Alicia? There's no way she watches this shit back. Yeah, about 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes? What? This shit there. She knows how to make edits. Why does she keep shit where she just doesn't do anything in there? Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically you just made a f***ing pie. That's what this is. It's just a pie. You put pie filling in pie crust. It's a pie. And so what, she can put frosting on it? So she's just, that's what they, that's it? You just put pie with frosting on it. Okay. That's stupid. Oh, my God. You took something that's already bad for you and made it 18 times worse for you. You're that's a talent. I'm I'm in I'm not even mad. I'm impressed that you can do that. this douche nozzle over here. Pull up your pants, asshole. It's good. Really so she's fancy. melting frosting over top of it. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my does he not walk by and say, what the are you making for these children? You know that's gonna kill them, right? Just let this cool. Clearly, I'm not doing that. Clearly! Why don't you let it cool? Another, oh my God. So she's not following the recipe, she doubles whatever. You're supposed to let it cool. I'm not doing that. We know because you don't follow any recipes. Your kids aren't even gonna be down for another hour. So you could let it cool, but you need to rush it for your content. So your kids can't even, I mean, they shouldn't eat it anyway, but they're gonna eat this shit and it's gonna be done wrong, like you do everything wrong. Holy shit! Did you think one wasn't gonna be enough? Oh my god. How's your trick me? Uh, it was great, actually. Thanks. Nice. So. He really doesn't walk by and say, what are you doing? What in the fresh hell are you feeding these kids? You know we're gonna get the FBI called on us for this. You know that, right? He doesn't even, it doesn't even phase him. The time. It's good. Some kids did really well and gave themselves a chance to do some different things, so. Did you hear the alarm go off at 4.30? What alarm? The house alarm. No, I. No, okay. Yeah, I accidentally set it off. Super safe. And then I was like, Clearly nobody is concerned. <laughs> That's because you wake up every morning and smash a bunch of shit. Your kids are so conditioned to it that they can't, won't even wake up for an alarm anymore. Your kids are so conditioned to loud and loudness and chaos that they will sleep through anything. Just kind of a superpower, I'm not going to lie. Also dangerous, though. 
house alarm is going off. Maybe you didn't feed them a thousand milligrams of freaking melatonin before they went to sleep. They'd be able to wake up easier. Maybe fed them a balanced diet instead of just pure sugar. They'd be able to wake up as well. 4.30 in the morning. Did anybody else get up? Nobody. I did not. <laughs> nope. Nobody cared. Unicorn sprinkles. Flintstones approaches her and says, hey, can you talk about our vitamins? Did you know she made this? <laughs> Holy shit, man. She should be sponsored by the American Diabetes Association, which she should be. Here, everybody, what I feed my kids, don't do that. I've been paid by the American Diabetes Association to tell you to not do what I do on this channel. At this point, that would be one I'd support. Be mothers right. Against Diabetes. That's what they should do, be called. Just come on, you're done. Mothers Against Doherty Diabetes. <laughs> oh, you didn't just do that, did you? Did you just do that? Thank you for... So they're going to cut the old slice of just cherry pie with frosting on it. Okay, cool. Then get yourself a circle sausage I made in the microwave an hour ago and a shitty banana. Enjoy, everybody. Bon appetit. I'll see you next time. You can kiss everybody's ass. I can't believe that she keeps doing shit like this. This is crazy. She, the thing is, she does it because she wants to go viral for doing crazy stuff. So she went in the interview with this other thing. News wants to interview her saying, hey, do you not realize that what you're doing is wrong? Do you not? You feed your kids absolute just disgusting bullshit all the time. You think that's funny? You go viral for that and they celebrate her for that. The news celebrates people like this. The news isn't saying that they, you know, they might say, oh, we're supportive of it. But you know the broadcasters, everybody who's researching this shit are just looking for crazy people, right? And they put you on the news because they know it's going to get them some feedback that's negative, which is good for virality. They're not doing it because they think she's right. They're doing it because she thinks she's, they're doing it because they know she's wrong. That's why they're doing it. And she's like, oh yeah, interview me, I'm a good mom. In the back end, they're like, oh my God, is that the lady that did nacho pool? Is that the lady who did spaghetti table? Is that the lady who feeds her kids literal cherry pie for breakfast? That's her? Oh yeah, great. Great news organizations. Don't support those people, okay? But they're doing it because she's a butt crack, not because she's good. So you sh I think she, re I, don't, I don't know if she realizes that or not, so whatever. Everybody, take a deep breath. Mothers Against Doherty Diabetes. Let's start an organization, shall we? Jeez. So don't buy Flintstones vitamins either. Do yourself a favor, okay? If they're willing to sponsor somebody who feeds their kids like this, that is crazy to me. But I think they did that on purpose. If you think about it for a second, because they want you to offset because they know that people don't feed their kids good stuff all the time. And so they're like, look, you need to give them some vitamins because clearly they're not getting any. It's kind of a secret dig if you think about it. So, but don't buy those, buy other ones buy the alternative because we do not support people who pay parents to exploit their children that's what we do here in this channel so you guys are amazing incredible and valuable don't feed your kids pop tart pie for breakfast okay cool unless you're like it's like you're on vacation and you do it once a year that's cool do that okay do yourself a favor and teach your kids to eat a balanced diet because she's talks about balanced diet we know it's not balanced diet. first of all that's false advertisement too by the way but you guys aren't false advertisement. You're amazing, incredible, and damn valuable. Don't you ever forget it. People need you here. Don't fly Flair American Airlines, okay? Do yourself a favor. And I will see you tomorrow.